Well, now to western Ukraine, which has been largely spared from Russia's attacks and has become a haven for families fleeing the violence. It's also an area where residents with no military background are taking up arms and training to defend their country. CBS's Zimtiaz Tayab is in Lviv. This is the most basic of training. After just four hours of learning how to fire a rifle, these ordinary citizens say they're ready to defend their homeland. And then you rotate it forward. 31-year-old Anastasia is originally from the capital, Kyiv. She fled to Lviv for safety shortly after the Russian invasion began and has gone from working in IT to learning how to use a Kalashnikov. How important is it for you to get this training? Uh, I hope that uh, we is, uh, will not have to use it. Uh, but it's uh, important because it can be a question of life. Ukrainians of all kinds have joined the volunteer battalions, which are fiercely resisting Russia's vastly more powerful military in ways few expected, defending the most vulnerable. TVs. Including those that live at this school in Lviv. Oh. These children, some as young as four, are all orphans and have developmental disabilities. They were brought here less than a week ago after fleeing brutal violence in eastern Ukraine. Natari is a social worker here. I mean, kids with a mental and physical disorder. As we were talking, Alarm. an air raid siren went off. The older kids were told to run inside while the youngest were guided by their carers, who took them into a basement classroom and tried to calm them down any way they could. Nadia is one of the teachers. What do you tell the children when they hear the noise? What do you say to them? The children don't hear the sirens from here. They are hidden, she says. We are safe here. These orphans may be among Ukraine's most vulnerable, but they are deeply cared for <laughs> and still manage to smile and make new friends <laughs> during the most uncertain of times. Now, according to the UN, nearly every second a Ukrainian child is made a refugee. That's roughly one and a half million already. Now, many pass through here in Lviv on their way to Poland and an uncertain future. Nora. Thank you for focusing on the children, Mtiaz.